Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners, and today we're going to tie the baby doll fly. They use this over in England a lot. The hook I have in the vise is a 79580. This is a size 8. Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. This is a streamer hook. I'm going to use black thread. I'm going to start the thread at the eye, and I'm going to quickly run the thread to the back. I'm not worrying a lot about keeping the threads tight. Come back to the bend, and we're going to bring that back up. And we're going to stop about one eye length from the eye of the hook. Remove that excess. Now our material. I have baby yarn. And I have about oh, two feet of it. We're going to take that and double it over. And we're going to tie off. We're going to let some stay on the, off the front. And we want that to be approximately one and a half the length of the shank. You could you could make it more because you can trim it later. We're going to tie that in right at the front. And we're going to take that to the back. And once again I'm not worried a real lot about making the touching turns. It's a really simple fly. And when we get to the rear, by the bend, we're going to stop there. Now I'm going to take a piece of wire. This is a 26 gauge wire. This is a heavy wire. This will actually add some weight to it. I'm going to tie that in right at the tail. And secure that pretty well. I got the very tip of the wire pointing out, just squeezed it in. And I'm going to bring that thread back up to the front. Now I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to cut one. And now I, it's so long, I'm going to go ahead and cut this at about 15 inches. I'm going to start winding this. And as you wind it, you want to unwrap it. You can wind it and take that wrap out of it, and it will lay flat on the hook shank. This one is a beige color. You can make these any color you'd like. These work really well in lakes. Now we're going to come back. Doing the same thing. Make sure you open your yarn so it will lay flat. And basically what we're doing is we're going to make a taper on it. And then I'm going to stop short and I'm going to go forward once again. And when we get up to the thread, we're going to tie that off. Now we're going to take all three pieces. We have three up the front now. And we're going to fold that over. And we're going to take our wire. And we're going to tie that in with the wire. And I'm going to tighten this pretty tight. Give it two wraps on the back, or one complete wrap, and palmer this forward. And we get up to one eye length from the eye of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. 
and from there forward we're going to that's where we're going to make the head let me go ahead and get that a little there we go secure that wire and I'm going to cut it off because this is thick wire you can get that wire in any uh, craft store in the, the jewelry making section and we're going to tie off this head and I have everything covered I'm going to go ahead and give it a whip finish Now you can take the tail and go ahead and cut it to length. You want it to be about another half the length of the one half to three quarters the length of the body. Now you can take your comb or your piece of Velcro and get that tail. Cut out some of the long ones there. Now at this point you can just add head cement to the head and you're done. But I'm going to go ahead and put some eyes on it. I'm going to take my Deer Creek Gator Eyes. And I'm going to place them partially on the yarn and partially on the head. Get the one on my side. And squeeze them right into place there. Pick that one up just a bit. There we go. I'm going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Hard Resin and I'm going to coat the head and I'm going to coat over the eyes I'm going to rotate that a little bit just to let it level off. Just level that off and go ahead and hit it with my UV light. Make sure you don't get any of your UV resin in your eye. Now at this point, if you would like, you can take a marker and color it any different colors you'd like. I'm just going to leave this one natural. It's going to be a nice little fish pattern. Here we have a baby doll. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, refer me to your friends. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.